Okay, so I just want to talk about some of the operation philosophy with this eight foot shelf layout, how it's going to work and the way I'm going to operate it. Um, without being too regimental, I'm going to treat it more as a kind of a yard lead where I can switch from both directions. Like off to the left here, we have an additional two foot staging area which will have three tracks wide in there with a turnout off stage left that you won't see. So if I'm switching from the right to the left, then most of the activity that I'm going to see anyway in the simulated railway world is in this area here going to be locomotives moving back and forth and switching out a few cars. And then if I want, I can switch out the cold storage or dry transfer there, run a maintenance of way train off to the siding there, and then down on the far end, which I haven't fully decided yet what it's going to be, um, it can be a industry as well. There's two tracks, there's a curved turnout there that, that branches off into two tracks. I can switch out a few boxcars there. Or I can use that as a uh, engine shed or yard. I haven't decided really what I want to do there. You can only do so much in eight feet without compressing everything beyond um, functionality. Off to the right where the road goes down the end, that's really the main coming in. Or it could be a track going out to another yard if it's extended, if the module's moved. So there's quite a bit of operation for a small little eight foot layout, right? Um, and if you're just focused on like, you know, highly detailed locomotives of your choice um, and some really super detailed cars, then, you know, everything works out pretty good. Okay, just in closing, I just want to mention about these three structures here. In the background, we can see is the Dairy Queen, which is kind of on hold. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the sign and stuff. And then this, I never mentioned, was in an earlier episode, is a cell tower building, which is actually like 70 yards away from the Milner Grain Elevator. I like the height of it, and I like the sort of modern look up against the old historic iconic grain elevator so I'm probably going to include that and then this building I started last night this is going to be like a yard office type shop with some chain link fence here and lots of railroad gack going on there and then as you can see in here I added this yesterday some ties and some rail on the side so I'm having a little fun with some details so there you have it some further progress on Glover Road.